Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Lawrence. I'm your host, Pat Brock, and it is a great day to be a Falcon. It is senior interview time. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got some amazing seniors here at East Lawrence that you have to have to meet. We're starting off with my love to the right. How are you, KB? I am good, Miss Pat. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You look great at the prom. Thank you so much. It was so much fun. And I think everybody looks so beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, KB, this is your moment. Share with us all about you, okay? All right. Well, my name is KB Lake. I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School. I've been going here for two years, and it's been an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I'm involved in cheerleading for basketball and, cheer and the football sidelines. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that I love to do. Yes. I've been doing it for two years. Um, I'm also the vice president of the student council along with my good friend Chan who is okay. the president. Uh, I enjoy traveling, mm -hmm. I love animals, and in general I just love life. So yeah, For that's sure. a little bit about me. For sure. And you know KB, you transitioned in. Mm -hmm. How was that transition for you? Uh, coming to East Lawrence was very easy for me. Uh, everybody was so nice and yep. welcoming. Um, I honestly, I've been to a couple of schools mm -hmm. in my life. I've been to Trinity, I've been homeschooled, Northwest, mm -hmm. and I would have to say East Lawrence is definitely my favorite. Honey, you have definitely found your groove. Now talk to us about all these things that you're involved in. So you as the vice president, mm -hmm. that, you know, how much does being a part of a club or an organization helps you with your people skills and helps you being able to just be comfortable with who you are? You know, it helps so much because you learn um, how to do things yourself like yeah. you almost have to grow up a little bit. Yeah, you have to organize things You have to you also get like a voice in your school Not only do you get a voice in your school But you yeah. get a voice over Lawrence County as well because we do a lot of outreaches and all that good stuff to not only our school But other people around us. So it's great. It teaches a lot of things if mm -hmm. you ever have the opportunity Yeah, well, I'm, I mean not you but you know <laughs> students around if they ever have the opportunity I 100% recommend it for sure. And you know, you seem to be so outgoing. Have you always been that way? Um, I think I have. Yeah. yeah. Always just naturally, but also uh, you also have to grow. I think yeah. the way to get there where you're not scared of things is you kind of just do something that scares you every single day. And that's mm -hmm. what I like to live by. I think that's, <laughs> you get, you kind of have to train yourself. You know, it's hard, but you get there. For sure. That little freshman KB, do you remember her? I do. Uh. <laughs> In what ways have you seen yourself uh, become a better person through the years? You know, because I think that as a freshman, we all, you know, that nervous energy when you go into a high school from middle school. How, how have you seen yourself grow and become more mature? I have grown so much ever yeah. since I was a freshman. I mean, looking back four years ago, I'm a completely different yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially going from a private, a small school, Trinity, mm -hmm. and moving to such a bigger school with so much diversity and so yeah. many different mindsets and yeah. stuff. It's grown me. The people around me here has definitely changed me. Yes. And has just made me into this person that I'm proud to be and I'm excited to go off into the college world. Oh my gosh. And you know, when you talk about this transition, you all are going to be turning that tackle, tassel pretty soon. And you know, that's that bittersweet moment that we always talk about. What is it that you're going to miss about your high school experience? Something that I'll miss is definitely the, not only my school, but also my town. Yeah. It's such a close-knit town, and we kind of know everybody here. Um, something that I'll miss from my school is definitely my friends. Oh, my gosh. I mean, like, yeah. although I've only been here for two years, I've created such close friendships. I feel like I've known them forever. And moving away, I'm going to miss seeing them every single day, talking to them on the mm -hmm. phone and everything. Um, so that's something that I'm definitely going that's, to miss. That's right. You're going off to North Carolina for college. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Very far, six hours. Six hours away. And what are you going to study? I am studying entrepreneurship. Oh, my, my. Uh, psychology and a minor in foreign language. I love that. I love that. And you already have your associates. Yes, ma'am, I do. You are far above the power curve. Yeah. <laughs> so, so very proud of it. Is there any kind of advice you want to give to the, the, the underclassmen? Yes, uh, the advice that I would give to underclassmen is definitely, like I was saying before, yeah. try something that scares you. It's yeah. going to scare you, 
But no matter the outcome, it's going to grow you, and you're going to learn something from it. And you are living proof of that, yes, aren't you? Yes, Well, congratulations, KB. It's always a pleasure chatting with you, and we look forward to what the future holds. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, chatting. darling. This is KB, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Doing well. Share with us a little bit about you. All right. Well, my name's Hayden Fields. I'm 17. I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School this year. Um, you know, like KB was saying just a second ago, do something every day that's going to scare you, and I'm terrified right now. <laughs> are so, you terrified? I am. But you know, Hayden, uh, how has, you know, when you think about your four years in high school, mm -hmm. what has been the highlight for you? You know, there's been a lot, and I think the major part of it is just like finding out who I am. Yeah. Because, you know, at the beginning of high school, I had no idea who I was <laughs> or who I wanted to be or who I was going to be. Yeah. I just kind of, I didn't know, and that was really scary. Yeah. But now it's more just like, it's not scary anymore. It's empowering. Yeah. It's like I can, I can do whatever I want to do, wear whatever I want to wear. Yeah. You know, just be whoever I want to be, and that's okay. Like it is, I don't have to know. It is perfect. Okay. You know, and I, you know what I love about you, Hayden, What's is that? you march to the beat of your own drum. And baby, I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that about you. And so for you, what things have you been involved in here at high school? How, have you been involved in extracurricular activities? Well, I was pretty involved in FFA at the beginning mm -hmm. of high school, but yeah. um, I just found it wasn't really for me anymore. Right, It right. was more just like I needed to figure out who I was, yes. like I was saying. Um, but yeah, I'm not really involved in too much. Mm -hmm. I'm in mm -hmm. beta. Um, that's pretty much it. So you're smart. I am smart. <laughs> you're smart. I am. I'm you pretty know, smart. And so, Hayden, you know, when you think about uh, high school, when you think about when you were a freshman, mm -hmm. you know, that self-discovery, discovering who you are, and now here it is, the young man that you, you've uh, become, you know, what advice would you give to other people who are, who are themselves still trying to figure out who they are, trying to still figure out what place they fit in this world? Well, I'd like to say that... <clears throat> Although it can be like really scary sometimes, yeah. um, it's okay to not know. Yeah. Like, just be yourself. I know that sounds really cheesy, but it, I mean it's true. It's you know just be yourself, no matter. Yeah. What others say. And you know, Hayden, when you say be yourself, you say it sounds cheesy, but it's very difficult for some people to be themselves. It is. It's really They're hard. not comfortable uh, in their own skin and. And the sad part of that is some people never become comfortable. So, yes, be comfortable and, you know, be who you are and not yeah. be afraid of being who you are. I mean, I'd like to say that East Lawrence is a really accepting place among yeah. other yeah. not so accepting places. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I've found that especially my friends and family have supported me the whole entire way. It's never been, you know, they've never been any type of... Mm -hmm. I get I it. I don't know the word, but you know what don't I mean. Don't even like worry about it. I get it. I told you. I feel you. And so tell me this, Hayden. After you turn the tassel, man, oh my gosh, what is it that you're going to miss most about East Lawrence? I guess I'm, I'm definitely going to miss my friends. Yeah. That's, you know, one thing that probably everybody's going to say, but my friends are really what have helped me get through yeah. these four years yeah. and the years before that. And, you know, healthy relationships are important. So mm -hmm. I think that, you know, whatever stage you are in life, you're going to need friends. You're going to yeah. need people who are in your corner, who have your back, who will tell you the truth, you know, Absolutely. and still be there to support you, good, bad, and indifferent. And so what are the plans? What, we've talked about this a little bit off yeah. camera. What are your plans after high school? Um, right? You know, I, I'd like to say I have an idea, but <laughs> I, I really don't. You yeah. know, right now I'm, I'm going to be staying at Middle Georgia mm -hmm. and trying to finish out my associates. Mm -hmm. From there I might go to, you know, Georgia Southern and Savannah. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility, but... Other than that, I'm just, you know, taking my time with it. Yes, yes. Take your time, and when you're able to really figure out what you're passionate about, and that's to anybody, that's when you'll really be able to, things will fall in line. But you keep pushing forward. So excited for you. I know your mama, April, so proud. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Hayden. So excited for you. Look forward to seeing you on graduation night. I look forward to it, too. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Georgia Military College is a two-year associate's degree granting institution. We are an open admissions college. What that means is all you need to do is have a high school diploma or a GED to get accepted into GMC. We offer several associate's degree programs including business administration, pre-nursing, psychology, criminal justice, as well as education. 
We offer classes during the morning, evening, and at night. We even offer some weekend classes. We offer online classes as well as in-seat classes, whatever is convenient for you and your schedule. We are located at 200 South Jefferson Street in Dublin, Georgia. If you want a great education with small class sizes, affordable tuition, we would love to see you here. Stop by to see us or give us a call. Start here, go anywhere. Georgia Military College, Dublin Campus. Ultima Hall EMC would like to congratulate the graduates of East Lawrence High School. Congratulations, Falcons. Continue to soar high from everyone at Ultima Hall EMC. With a location at 679 at Beckham Road in East Dublin and proudly rooted in the communities we serve since 1936. That's Ultima Hall EMC. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kids' college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kids' college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar. Depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Courtney! Hey, little mama, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. Share with us, okay? Okay, so my name is Courtney. I'm 18. Um, here at East Lawrence, I'm a varsity cheerleader. I'm on the drum line where I serve as drum line captain. I'm in beta, interact, just keep living and the Spanish club, and I'm a honor graduate. I'll be an honor graduate this coming May, and I'm just trying to finish up the last yeah. couple of weeks. That's right, get that last wind in. Courtney, you've been so active. I remember when I first saw you, like you were a little one, and I would take pictures of you. you Lord, you'd be so shy. <laughs> You still shy? I'm, I'm still, still shy. shy. Still Each shy. Every time I see you, I'm just like, oh, oh my God, there she is. <laughs> and you know, you're very active here. You're very active. How has being active in different clubs and organizations helped you come out of that shell or become more of who you are? It's definitely helped me come out of my shell because being in band, being on the drum line, I'm leading my peers, so mm -hmm. I have to, you know, sometimes speak up. I'm just like, hey, y'all, let's do this so we can get this done. Being with cheer, I have to work with my um, fellow teammates mm -hmm. to make sure we get the cheers down, get the dance down, whatever we need to get down for game days, any performance we do, and right. same thing with band as well. And you know, your family, I know your family is quite supportive. Yes, Talk to us about your family. So my parents are Joey and Sharon Evans. They've been really supportive. My whole high school career, anything I've needed, they've done. Yep. They've always supported me and whatever I'll do, they'll keep supporting me. And you know, when you know, when you talk about family, the things you're involved in, you've got to have that support. You've got to have that support system because it's very difficult for you to navigate through life, right? Without yes, that. Yeah. And so when you think about high school, oh my mama, what has been the highlight of your time here at East Lawrence High School? Um, I think the highlight has definitely been like finding myself through these years. Yeah. Like, me right now is not the same as, like, freshman Courtney. Yeah. So, you know, I've had my friends, my teachers, my parents, you know, they've all helped me. Um, I've had to help myself sometimes. So really yeah. just, like, becoming who I am today has been the highlight over the past couple of years. I love that. And, you know, of course, your sister, uh, Kadisha. Yes, ma'am. She feels as though you're her mini-me, like you are her incarnate. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're the same, but we're different at the same time. Right, is, right, right. You definitely, you know, uh, have found your own way. You know, you are definitely making your mark. You're not in the shadow of your sister. You're making Courtney's mark. And so what is it, Courtney, that's next for you? What's over the horizon for you? Okay, so in the fall, I will be attending Georgia Southern University. Mm -hmm. I'll be measuring in nursing and... Um, just nursing. To, I'm telling you, well, that's a lot because that nursing program is a great program, but it's one that's very rigorous, so you're going to have to definitely stay focused, okay? Yes, now, uh, college, now, Georgia Southern, you know, there's a lot of people go down the Southern that you know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you got to keep <laughs> focused, right? Yes, ma'am. Got to keep focused. Anything you want to say to your graduating class? Um, let's just get these next couple weeks out of the way. <laughs> That's all I can say. Push forward, push through. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. So proud of you. Good job, baby girl. Hey, Ray. Hi. 
How are you? I'm good. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this is really such a, a wonderful time to get to chat with the seniors here at East Lawrence. And, you know, some of them are so very comfortable in front of that camera, but others are not so. But, you know, we're a family, aren't we? We're yes, a family. All right, baby girl, share with us, okay? Um, my name is Braylon Kite, and my parents are Jessica and Jamie King. Jamie's my stepdad, and Jessica's my mom. And my dad is Randy and Heather Kite. Mm -hmm. Randy's my dad, and Heather's my stepmom. Mm -hmm. I have two younger brothers, Jackson and Jace. Jace goes to East Lawrence here in middle school. Uh -huh. He's in seventh grade, and Jace or Jackson goes to Toombs County. Are and you the big sister? The big sister. <laughs> You're the big sister. Yes. <laughs> I've known you for quite some time, haven't yes, I? Yes, ma'am. What has high school been like for you? Um, overall, it's been pretty good. Um, really. I've just been hanging with my friends. That's like what I'll do. That's what you do? Yeah. Are you involved in other, any clubs or extracurricular things? Yes, ma'am. Work in, talk to yes. us. Yes. <laughs> I um, am in work base. I've been doing work base my senior year. Mm -hmm. I work at Anna Claire's Boutique mm -hmm. and I am in Beta Club. I'm in dual enrolled for two years and I've almost got my associate's degree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's good. I have gained 45 credits so far and I'll be finished with GMC in May. Look at that. And you're cheering. <laughs> yes, I'm oh cheering too. Oh my gosh. How do you keep the balance of everything? Because you know, you all are involved in so much stuff and it's so important that you're able to balance. How do you balance everything that you've got going on? You really just have to stay focused yeah. and have a good support team. Mm -hmm. um, my friends are my backbone. Wow. They help me through everything. Mm -hmm. um, and my parents too. For sure. Yes. What are you gonna miss? I'm definitely gonna miss some of my teachers, <laughs> some of them. Yeah, you're gonna miss some of your teachers. You know, what are you not gonna miss? Um, are you about to say some of your teachers again? No, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss like waking up early, which I don't have to wake up early right now because I'm dual enrolled, but yeah. just coming to school. And you know, you're transferring to college. Yes. Uh, where? I'm going to Statesboro, I'm going to East Georgia, mm -hmm. finishing up my associate's degree there. And then I'm going to transfer to Georgia Southern and get my nursing degree. Oh, my, my, my. So you're going to have a lot on your plate. <laughs> yes. And you're going to have to be really focused. Oh, yeah. Is there any kind of advice you want to give the younger Braylon? So when Braylon first started high school, Braylon was a little different than she is now. Oh, yes. If you knew uh, then what you know now, <laughs> what would you say to little Braylon? I would tell her to be more confident because I'm definitely really shy. And I was more shy in my freshman year. Mm -hmm. But I've really grown and Here more confident. And here, and here you are right now. Yes. You are your mother's child. Your mother's <laughs> something else, Jessica. So we're so proud of you, Braylon. Uh, we know that you're going to do well. You're going to stay focused. You're going to keep your eye on the prize. Yes, ma'am. All right. We'll see you graduation night. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Well, well, well. Hey, sir, how are you? I'm doing swell. How are you? Doing swell. I love that. Share with us a little bit about you, your family, and talk to us about things that you're involved in, okay? As y'all may have guessed, I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School. I'm 18 years old. I've served in the East Lawrence Band of Gold, and I'm an avid soccer player. You know, I love those boys. <laughs> you, you got to, to be out there with them. Um, also, I'm an Eagle Scout, very active in the community, and I'm glad that this school has provided me some of that support. What's your name? My name is Marcus Harris. Sorry about that. <laughs> Marcus Eagle Scout Harris. I mean, that's huge. Congratulations to you on all fronts. Thank you. Uh, Marcus, I've known your family for quite some time. Went to college with your dad. We all stayed in the same apartment complex at Georgia mm -hmm. College, so mm -hmm. we go way back. And so what has been what has been the most significant thing that you've experienced here at East Lawrence that will always stick with you? Um, the increase in confidence and it did go into all these sports clubs mm -hmm. um, like I like I said the band earlier yeah we go a lot to a lot of different places and it's a lot of fun but it helps you get out your shell and that's the whole purpose you gotta yeah. have experiences to grow for sure how have you changed through the years got a little bit more confident I ha you certainly have <laughs> and you know yeah. just gotta learn you know used to little Marcus he was like Mm -hmm. He taught the talk. Yeah. Turns out he could also walk the walk. He could so you also know walk saying? the walk. Marcus, I love that. Now, you've been a part of the Band of Gold for how long? Five years, ma'am. Five years. So you all are truly a family. Yes, ma'am. Talk to us about them and that relationship that you have built and that bond that you all have. There's some knuckleheads sometimes, but I am too, so <laughs> it all kind of works out. But, you know, 
little play, little fighting, but it's all it all works good. It's all worked um, good. Yeah, I can say I enjoy those guys, and I feel like they've had fun with me too. Oh, you're such a pleasure. And so for you, after high school, what plans have you already made? Um, as of right now, I'm looking at int attending Georgia Southern University. Mm -hmm. um, I've also been accepted to a couple of other colleges mm -hmm. that I'm very excited about. But, you know, it got so late in the process that we got to check it out sometimes. You got to check it um, <laughs> And when I mean that, I mean the financial aid. So Of course, you know, of course. I get it. Most money. Well, they've got a great band down there. Are you interested in, in being part of their band? I think right there, right now, I'm going to focus on school. On school. Mm -hmm. Very good. Stay focused. Is there anything else you want to let the people of Dublin Lawrence County know? It's a great day to be a Falcon. Always a great day to be a Falcon. Good job, baby. F. Lake and the staff at Lakes Alignment has been serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1954, offering you the best in suspension, alignment, and tire services. And now, Elp and Lisa Lake are proud to announce the addition of Neil Harden and our 24-hour truck trailer and tire repair facility with state-of-the-art equipment. Lake's Tire Facility is conveniently located to I-16 and all roads throughout Middle Georgia. Call on us 24 hours a day, seven days a week for truck, trailer, and tire repair. Call 272-4230, serving the Southeast for over 65 years. Lakes Alignment and now 24-hour truck, trailer, and tire repair. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Come see our great selection of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Our sales professionals are ready and waiting. Come see TJ, Trey, Alec, and Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Visit us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin, call us at 275-2010, or log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. I'm Heath Richter and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now obviously but uh, have, uh, have a new office here and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering and uh, if you need to get checked out we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Hello, hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Talk to us, darling. My name is Emerald Baker. My parents' name is Lotus Guyton and Chris Baker. I'm involved in the FCA Launch Youth Leadership Beta and also the senior, I mean the president of the senior class in competition and spirit cheerleading. Madam President, <laughs> Emerald. Madam President. <laughs> and also, give us some good news about you as a cheerleader. <clears throat> I've currently just been accepted into Fort Valley State University oh. and a cheerleader. Mm. <laughs> Honey, congratulations Thank to you. you. Emerald, you know, I remember interviewing you in middle school. Yes, ma'am. Do you remember that interview? Elementary. <laughs> elementary? Oh, yes. It was elementary it was school. Elementary. Oh, my <laughs> Yes, ma'am. How have you seen yourself? You know, it's important, like, people see us a certain way. But how have you seen yourself become a better person? How have you seen yourself evolve through the years? I definitely became more confident and more mm -hmm. mature in myself and started to get more focused on stuff that would make my life like elevate or become more successful in life. For sure, for sure. And I'm sure because of your experiences, the things that we go through really, they are truly to help other people. Yes, ma'am. What advice do you have to those other young girls? Because here it is, you've been cheering for how many years? Probably like 10 years. About 10 <laughs> years. And here it is, you have aspired to continue this sport, one that you have loved basically your whole life. Yes, ma'am. And what advice you want to give to those young ladies out there that still have those aspirations? I'll say just like keep trying and keep pushing like even if you like don't make the team or something happens just keep trying I always put in 110 percent and like enjoy it because it's fun it is fun so you're going down to the valley yes ma'am my 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 <laughs> I know your mom was just turning cartwheels herself yes she was what a dream come true for you mm -hmm. and here it is when you leave when you turn that tassel it is on to bigger things, a whole new season in life for you, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, we're so very proud of you, Emerald. Thank you. Keep making us all proud, okay? Okay. 
Oh, my, my, my. Maya, how are you? I'm good, how about you? Doing well, share with us, please. My name is Maya Taylor. I'm the daughter of Marcus and Latasha Taylor. I have four older sisters and I have one that goes to this school. Her name is Emily Taylor. I'm part of many clubs. I'm part of FBLA, Beta, Spanish Honor Society, and FCLA. You are so busy. <laughs> yes, oh, ma'am. I grew up with her parents, which is really <laughs> awesome to, to see her now uh, growing up the way you are. And so for you, Maya, you've always been so busy. How do you yourself keep that schedule together? Because you're here, there, and everywhere. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have a list on my phone. I have to make sure, because if I don't have that list, I'm going to get out of control with everything. And my parents as well. They have like a great support system for me. Oh my gosh. And so for you, all right. Uh, when you were a freshman, Maya, yes, ma were you a little rough around the edges? Did you have it together? Did you have it all together? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I was very shy. I kind of still am. Yeah. But I think I've kind of progressed a little bit. You have. But you I, have. Yes, ma'am. You have. And so for you, you're in these clubs. Now, these clubs truly help you uh, to de develop skills in, in being able to interact with others and, and in leadership positions. What ways has it helped you? Um, speaking to others more, because mm -hmm. back then I would not talk to anyone, really. But <laughs> it has helped me a lot with my communication and just talking, speaking more. Yeah, for sure. Yes, what ma are you going to miss? What are you going to miss about East Lawrence? <laughs> um, my friends and teachers, oh. for sure. You know, I'm telling you, when you're talking about that senior year, you have so many emotions like going on inside. Like it's exciting and then it's sad at the same time. Yes, and so it's like you all really have to live and, and enjoy these moments, yes, right? And so what's next for Maya? Um, I will be attending Georgia Southern in the fall and I'll be studying radiology. Look at you, honey. <laughs> so, so, so very proud of you. Yes. That's not too far from home. No, ma'am, it's not. Because you know your mama's going to have to do yeah. a drive-by, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what advice do you want to give? I mean, you know, we expect seniors to be those mentors to other young people. What advice do you want to give to the underclassmen here at East Lawrence? Because, you know, it's very important to stay focused. Yes, and you don't just get the focus your senior year. Yes. <laughs> Talk to us. I like to say, just don't take it for granted because the years, they come by really quick. And just take your time, you know, don't rush. It'll come by. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And what do you want to say to this class of yours? Because when you all do turn that tassel, you're going to, you're dispersing. Yes, your lives are going to be so different. Yes, what do you want to say to your friends, those, that class of 2022? <laughs> I'd just like to say thank you for making the, these years great. And I hope you all have a great year and stay focused. So proud of you. Yes, you look fantastic at the prom too, <laughs> Thank by the you. way. Mm. Good talking with you, Maya. Thank you, you too. Love you, baby. Well, well, well. Hi. Hey, Miss Pat. How are you, darling? Good, how are you? Doing good, pretty in pink. <laughs> Talk to us. Um, I'm Caitlin Poole. I'm 18 year old, years old and I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School. My parents are Sedina and Frankie Chalker. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing dual enrollment for the past two years, and I've been involved in cheer and soccer for the past four years. And I'm in FCA, and I've been in beta for four years as well. Very good. You are a true example of a student athlete. And you just signed a scholarship for soccer at Root <laughs> Parker College. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know, uh, have you always been this active? I have. Like, when I was younger, Mm -hmm. I actually done dance, cheer, basketball, and softball. Oh my gosh. And I played rake soccer, but I really mm -hmm. wasn't into it mm -hmm. until my high school year, and that's when I started playing soccer more. And really getting serious, huh? Yes, ma'am. So when you're not doing all of these things, what do you do for fun? See, I just sit at home and watch TV. <laughs> like, mm, I really don't have... <laughs> I don't really have much downtime because right. if it's not college work, it's practice. If right. it's not practice, it's high school. But when you have a few moments, you're going to just sit down, chill, mm -hmm. decompress, watch a little old tube of the <laughs> tube, right? Yes, ma'am. I love that. And so, you know, you've developed quite a bit of uh, friendships here. Mm -hmm. And especially, you know, being an athlete, those teams that you're on, those are your family. Yes, you know, what are you going to miss about those girls? They've supported me whenever nobody else did. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the hardest part to be able to have to say I have to let go of. Yeah. Because they were always there if I had a bad day mm -hmm. or if I just felt down about myself or anything. They always right. brought you up. Yeah. And now I'm not going to have that. But, you know, and it's like when you go off to college, you have to start 
over in some ways, you mm -hmm. know, in developing those friendships and relationships. And is that something easy for you to do or does it take time? See, I've gotten better over the years, yeah. but I'm a really shy person. Yeah. So it's kind of hard sometimes for me just to come out and make new friends. It's a process, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, graduation's coming up. Yes, ma'am. Are you happy? You're sad? You're... It's mixed emotions. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Those mixed emotions, you know. And now senior trip, do you t are you planning on taking a senior trip? Yes, ma'am. Where are you going? Me and a couple of friends are going to go to Tennessee for the week. Tennessee. All right. <laughs> Very good. Well, listen, we're so proud of you. We're proud of, of what you've accomplished and the things that are yet to come for you. You Thank know, you. and that shyness, it is so understandable. When you go off to college, it's okay to be yourself and kind mm -hmm. of, you know, work through things in order to build those relationships, but it's gonna come because of the person that you are. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right, congratulations to you. Thank you. Very good. Hey, darling, how hey, are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? Doing well, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Now listen, you and I have been knowing each other for quite some time, haven't we? Oh, yes. I know your family. I used to go to the family gym, <laughs> used to. <laughs> All right, share with everybody a little bit about you, okay? Talk to us about your family and things that you've been involved in, okay? Yes, All right. I am Kaylee Jackson. I am 18 years old. I am a senior at East Orange High School. I have an older brother, and my parents are Michelle and Michael Jackson, and I am involved in JKL, mm -hmm. um, FCA, cheer, and soccer. I, and I also work most of the time. Most of the time. Where do you work? Um, Clark's Hut Club and Southern Pines Recreation Department. So you're busy. Oh, yes. All you the are time. busy. Uh, question that everybody wants to know, how does it feel to be Michael Jackson's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> when I first met your dad, I asked him that. I was like, wait, Michael Jackson? Is he Michael Jackson? <laughs> and so for you, what have you loved about your high school experience? Um, mostly seeing, being with my friends, mm -hmm. and I love my teachers, just making memories with my friends, most of all. For sure. And you know, anything that you're involved in, I always see your family, and your family comes in groves, you know, at droves, and they have a huge little, little area that they sit in oh, yes. all the time. Yes, ma'am. How important is it for you to have that family support? Um, I love my family coming to support me. I always, like, appreciate and thank them for coming to every thing that I have, every event. Mm-hmm, for sure. And so now, okay, what's next? Um, graduation. Uh-huh. Turning that tassel. Turning mm -hmm. that tassel. Do you have plans for college, or what do you um, want to do? I'm undecisive, but I have a lot of options. Okay. you just kind of weighing those and just seeing how it goes? Yes, ma'am. All right, very good. Anything you want to say to your graduating class? Um, I'm going to miss y'all. I hope y'all do great in the future, and... Just hope, wish all the best. Very good. And we wish you the best, too. Thank you. You did good, baby. Come Thank on. You. Good job. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Good job, baby. I'm Glenn Register at Hometown Supply. Come by today and let me show you all the different product lines that we carry. Just about anything that you need, we have it in stock. We do financing. We deliver just about anything a customer needs for us to do. We do. Come by and let me show you what sets us apart from all the rest. If you can't do business here, you just can't do business. Congratulations to the class of 2022 from Farmer State Bank. Life is filled with milestones, and Farmers State Bank would like to take this opportunity to salute all the graduating class this year. Your hard work and determination is commendable, and the professional lenders at FSB recognizes the senior class of 22. Farmers State Bank looks forward to building relationships and helping you reach the next milestone in your life. Remember, your future is as easy as FSB. Farmers State Bank, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Have you heard about the new general store in Minner? Drop by Minner General Store today at 2201 Highway 29 South. We've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner cooked fresh every day, seven days a week. At Minner General Store, we have all types of feed, rabbit feed, dog feed, horse feed, or any feed for your livestock. We've got you covered. Going fishing? 
Minter General Store has your bait and tackle, coolers, and all your fish and tackle. Minter General Store for groceries, feed, fishing supplies, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Well, you get the picture. Minter General Store's got you covered. Minter General Store, right down from Union Baptist Church. Call ahead at 279-5726. Minter General Store in the heart of Minter, Georgia. Pat. Hey Sugar, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing well. Oh my gosh, this is our last time, isn't I know. it? No. This is bittersweet, bittersweet, bittersweet. Talk to us about you, okay? Um, so I'm Liz Holt. I'm 18 and obviously I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School. Um, I'm the daughter of Michael and Sonny Holt, and then I have an older sister Haley and a younger sister Abigail. My younger sister Abigail still goes here, she's in eighth grade, and um she is a firecracker. She is. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> she is. Um, You're the middle child. Yes, ma'am. The middle, middle child. child. Liz, I mean, so have you been a firecracker your whole life? <laughs> um, I'm, I would say so, but I'm definitely a little bit more calm. <laughs> than your sister. Yes, ma'am. What, uh, what do you love most about your high school experience here at East Lawrence? Um, I like the closeness, and I know that we're not, my graduating class, we're definitely not like insanely close and we mm -hmm. do disagree mm -hmm. but whenever you go off to college you're not going to have that sense of stability that right. you do have in high school like we've grown up with these people i've mm -hmm. been here since i was in pre-k oh. and i know that a lot of people have and it's like we've watched each other grow up whether we've been friends or not yeah. it's just something that like we all went through together when yeah. you get to college it's, it's not different gonna be it's like going to be a little different and mm -hmm. you know and that's just like with family you're not always going to disagree but the fact that it still remains that right. your family, your family. And so for you, you know, your family is very important to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how does it feel for you having your family support you the way they do? And what message do you want to give to them? Um, I love my family and I will miss them very, very much. Um, and I just want to thank them for everything because my mom and daddy, if, if they can do it, they're going to do it. That's absolutely that's just how they are. That's the sacrifices that are worth, uh, worth making. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry. Right. You're going to turn the tassel. You're going off to college. Yes, ma'am. I'm planning to go to coastal, which is mm -hmm. Brunswick in Brunswick. Yes, nice. Yes, it's nice down there. I love we've, the beach. We've got students that are down there at coastal. Mm -hmm. Have you decided on what you want to major in? Well, um, at Coastal, I'm just going to get my associates in radiology, and then mm -hmm. I want to transfer. I'm not sure where to yet, but I want to do nuclear medicine. Oh, my, my, my. So the sky's the limit for you. That's You're right. definitely reaching for the stars. Is there anything else you want to make sure that you say to us while the um, floor is yours? I'll just, I'm going to miss everybody. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to miss the school, and I'm going to miss being at home, but I think it's time that we all go our separate ways. Mm -hmm. Time to fly away, mm -hmm. isn't it? Well, I want you to know that it's always a pleasure to see you and chat with you. I find it a privilege to be in the position that I am in, to be able to yes, develop these relationships with you all. And, of course, right here in front of this camera is right where I enjoy being, and it's been a yes. pleasure being with you. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Pat. Thank you, Liz. Good job, baby. Thank you. My, my, my. I tell you, anytime I have such uh, the connections with these kids and the things that I re I've seen them do uh, through the years has been pretty outstanding. Alexandra, talk to us, darling. Hi, Miss Pat. Hey, darling. Um, hi, my name is Alexandra Smith. I am the daughter of Thomas Smith and Mary Beth Williams. Um, I am 18, graduating senior this year. <laughs> um, I am a committed student to Mercer as an engineering student in the fall. Um, I have been a FFA officer these past three years. I've been in Skills USA, Beta. I did TSA a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Dabbled in a little bit of everything. You did. And of course, tell us about that NASA experience you uh, had. Oh, you didn't forget that, Miss Pat. How could uh, I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, my sophomore year, I did have the opportunity to attempt to name the 2020 Mars rover that was launched. Um, I was a semifinalist out of. 125,000 students <laughs> mm. nationwide. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Dribbled down to 150, and yeah. then I placed ninth high school division. Wow. That I remember when uh, we, we did the interviews and things about that. It was so impressive. I had to do a whole lot of Googling. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and so this high school experience. If you could sum it up, how would you say your experience has been here? A roller coaster. Yeah. Absolute roller coaster. Yeah. Emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. just it's all 
just got to go with the flow. You got to right. learn how to ride it out. You know, we talk about the, the highlights of your high school career. What has been some of the challenges from high school? Ooh, challenges. Um, scheduling. As silly yeah. as that sounds, scheduling. Um, like, I have wanted to do FFA. It's always something that I, I've mm -hmm. been close to. I've always related closely to ag, but me wanting to go into engineering, I was completely unable yeah. to go into any of the engineering classes because it conflicted with me also getting an ag class, which conflicted right. with me being an officer. Mm -hmm. So there was constantly a scheduling conflict. Wow. And so here it is, uh, going off to college. Yep, cool. You're going to be a Mercer Bear. Yes, ma'am. Impressive. Impressive. Very so excited. those those uh, juggling acts that you've had to do in high school, they're going to have to be increased mm -hmm. up there uh, in Macon. So anything else you want to say? To the incoming high schoolers or to the incoming upperclassmen, don't try and be perfect at everything. Yeah. Don't try and be the best at everything. Just be your best. I love that. Spoken like someone who is definitely being their best version of themselves. Thank you, Alexandra. Thank you, Ms. So proud of you. Good job. Well, well, well. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you, Miss Pat? Doing just fine. Talk to us. Tell us about who you are, your family, and things that you're involved in here. My name is Orion Fordham. I'm a senior here at East Lawrence. I'm currently a member of FCA. Um, I played football here for four years. Well, actually, since middle school, I've been playing football. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a part of the weightlifting team and a member of the Growing Young Man program. I love that. You know, and Zorian, you're a state champion, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Two times. <laughs> How many? Two times. Oh, you left that out. Two times. <laughs> Two times state champion. And so you have been such a phenomenal athlete. So phenomenal. What about how, what kind of relationships have you built through uh, those extracurricular activities and athletics? Really, everything kind of starts with my, uh, with my underclassmen, all of my teammates. Um, I usually try to get a strong connection with them, and mm -hmm. that's where, like I said, that's where it starts at. And um, teammates, coaches, and everything, um, mm -hmm. you know, they've taught me a lot. And, yeah. And for you being a part of FCA, you know, Fellowship for Christian Athletes, you know, that is very foundational, I would say, as an athlete, being a part of that. Uh, and how big a part does your faith play in you? A lot, because a lot of things have to do with God. Um, you have to deal with God first, and you have to ask God for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, first off, God's given me the ability to, um, you know, of course, I have the strength and the knowledge and, mm -hmm. you know, the ability to do things that I can do. Uh, so first off, I would like to thank him. And, of course, um, you know, the youth and the, the youth pastor and everybody yeah. that um, goes to FCA. You know, it's just amazing. For um, sure. Mr. Tanner, he does a lot of amazing things for the uh, FCA community. Pastor Kevin Tanner is the bomb.com. He is. I got the opportunity to go with you all when you were uh, for the state championship for weightlifting. Yes. It made me nervous. But you were a beast. I was so I was so impressed with for one the way you carried yourself not just your athleticism but just the way you handled and carried yourself very professional very mature and it's like wow yes, quite impressive and so for you <laughs> what's next for you uh, so I plan on enlisting in the United States Marine Corps oh, and um, also gosh. most likely getting a job in a uh, law and public safety look at that you know my brother was a Marine 30 years you know so it's very honorable it's you know it's very strict, it's very, it's something I think that you're already disciplined for. Anyone in your family that's in the military? I had a few cousins and uh, prior family members that were in the service, mm -hmm. such as the Navy and the uh, Army. Oh my, my. Now, have you ever been away from home for any period of time? Uh, usually no longer for a few weeks, but uh, <laughs> a few months is gonna be, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. Are you ready for it? I am indeed. Any advice you wanna give to your, uh, the underclassmen? What do you wanna say to them? Uh, just be yourself and just try. Um, really and a big one for my student athletes is uh, just remember you're a student first and then an athlete second. You all have been through so many things together you've been a support system for one another and when you turn that tassel you're gonna go your separate ways. Correct even though I really never got the chance to kind of interact with everybody or kind of get to mm -hmm. know them I know of them uh, I just wish everybody the best of luck in what they choose to do. Very good and we wish you the best of luck as well you're gonna make us proud not just as a, a, a school district as a school but as a nation very honorable joining the US Marines. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Hello there. How are you? Good. Good to see you. My name is Rakai Powell. My parents are Ruth Burton and Mike Jones. Um, I'm not from here. I transferred this year. Mm -hmm. This is my first year. You transferred in. How has your experience been? Um, at first, it was kind of rough 
because <laughs> I wasn't the type of person to make friends. But right. thanks to Ari and some of her friends, that kind of helped me make other friends. Kind of pulled you up under their wings, haven't they? Yeah. And so for you, you know, transferring in, that's always a little different from when someone who has been here their entire life. Yeah. like some of them since pre-k so that's a whole lot different and so in this time in high school in what ways have you become a better person um i feel like i learned how to communicate more with other people mm -hmm. and like i learned like what i can do to help my grades and stuff uh -huh. and like who i can talk to and who i could lean on mm -hmm. for emo emotional support and that's very important, isn't it? Yes, because when you want to be a healthy person from the inside out, the, those emotions, it's very important that we get those under subjection, get things ready and being able to be able to express ourselves. And so for you, what is next for you after high school? Uh, I am going to a county file line. I mm -hmm. want to be in a healthcare career. I haven't decided, so I'm doing x-ray tech mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that I can go from there and see what I actually want to do. And that is a fantastic school. I mean, there's a lot of great people there, and so you're going to be in good hands and not too far from home, right? Yeah. Very good. Anything else you want to say to us? Um, just keep pushing. Keep pushing. You keep pushing too, okay? Yes, All right. Thank you, darling. Hey, this is Perry with Williamson's Baker. We've been serving in Dublin Lawrence County since 1965. I want to take this time now to congratulate the graduates of 2022. And remember, grads, life's what you bake it. At Williamson's Bakery, we put a little extra love in everything we make. Check us out on Facebook, or you can call us at 272-3344. Better yet, just come get you some. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard. Conservative treatment options are typically where we start with both knee and hip arthritis. So if you come in to see us and your hip is beginning to be arthritic or your knees beginning to be arthritic, there's sort of a stepwise approach that we take. Anti-inflammatories, which are medicines like Motrin, Advil, Aleve are usually sort of first line. We have prescription forms of those medications that we can use. In our elderly population, that becomes a little more difficult because they have comorbidities, things like diabetes or stomach ulcers or disease that they can't take those medications even hypertension so we'll try to treat them with medications if it's appropriate when it's not then we go on to things like injections so cortisone injections or there's these things called visco injections or visco supplements which are lubricating type injections that we can use to treat knee arthritis as well as hip arthritis to try to control people's pain and a lot of times we do that for years for people before they get to the point where those are no longer working and we're ready to talk about knee or hip replacement We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and I tell you, it truly is a great day to be a Falcon. These seniors are on top of things, and it's wonderful hearing them, how they're able to uh, dissect how life has been for them and then the increase of how they've grown. And so we've got this lovely young lady to my right. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Miss Pat? Doing well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. And you look lovely as you always. You look adorable. <laughs> Thank you. You really do. <laughs> Share with us, okay? Oh, well, my name is Brian Bracewell, and I'm 18 years old. I've been been at East Lawrence since pre-K, so I've been here quite some time. Mm -hmm. I grew up with all these faces, and I'm a, uh, my parents are Tara and Nathan Bracewell, and they run a, they have a business, a furniture business, so I spend some time working with them with that. We set up play sets and deliver all kinds of furniture and all. And oh, I love that. I mean, I, I'm going to be a, you know, a customer pretty soon. Oh. Pretty soon. I'll, I'll build your swing for you. I love that. What are the things that you're involved in? Um, I'm involved in TSA. I'm an officer for them. Um, I'm also in Beta Club. Mm -hmm. I have been an officer in the past for Beta. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the tennis. Um, I had played tennis. I have played for tennis, but um, we the season's over now. So mm -hmm. four years since middle school all the way up to 12th grade. So. We made it to the first round of playoffs this year. Very good. And you yourself just won the award for? Positive athlete for tennis for uh, Middle Georgia region. That is fantastic. Congratulations mm -hmm. to you. Thank of you. course, I've known you since you were little, seeing mm -hmm. you and, of course, your siblings, you know. And, mm -hmm. and you know, what has been for you, Brianna, when you talk about your high school experience? Mm -hmm. 
What has been some of the highlights for high school for you? The highlights for me were kind of the small things. So just like the class discussions that would go on, the mm -hmm. little the little conversations that would turn into an entire class thing, <laughs> and then we'd get the teachers involved, and right. it would just, it would be so funny. And what's lovely about that is here on the east side, you know, you all are like a family for sure. You know, um, since you've been here all your life, your family's been part of East Lawrence for years and years. This has really been a family for you. It has been. And for you, what ways have you seen yourself mature? Because when you started off as a freshman, as all freshmen, we are a little bit different, mm -hmm. a little bit awkward, still trying to yes. find our way, trying to find out who we are. Uh, what changed about you? The most that I have changed is I've become so much more independent. Yeah. Um, I participate in so many things that I have different schedules than all of my other friends. So I'm just running around doing my own things and yeah. they have their own things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and then when we get together, it's it's a great thing. So. And so you all are supportive of one another? Mm -hmm. Very much so. How how much uh, of a support would you say your family has been for you? They have been very supportive. Actually, um, tennis, the season has ended for a high school, but we're getting into the leagues, summer leagues, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they're, they're helping fund me for that. So Look at without, that. without their support, I wouldn't be able to continue playing tennis after high school. And so for you, okay, you turn this tassel. Yes. Oh my gosh, all of your emotions are probably gonna come into play because mm -hmm. this has been your life, your whole life. Yes. Um, and so what's next for you? For me, I'm attending Georgia College in the summer, or in the fall, mm -hmm. actually, and I'm going to be studying environmental science and pre-engineering. I love that. I'm a bobcat. Are you really? Yes, my I undergraduate. That. That's awesome. It is awesome. It's a fantastic institution. And so now, do you think you're going to continue playing tennis? Not at Georgia College. Mm -hmm. They do have the... They have smaller club tennis mm -hmm. and leagues, so that's what I'm going to be getting into. But not the super competitive I got gotcha. you. Interview old champion mm -hmm. over here. It'll be on the wall. At <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's still, even though, you know, you've, you're going to concentrate on your studies, you'll still have those club sports where yes. you'll still be able to, you know, do what you love without all of the pressure that is exactly. required <laughs> as an athlete in college. And so what do you want to say to your class? What do you want to say to these some of these kids that you've known since you were pre-K? I just want to say uh, live it up while you're still young because <laughs> we're, we got all this energy and mm -hmm. we just put it to, towards something you love and carve your own way. And you are continuing to carve your own way, aren't you? Oh, yeah. You are not in the shadow of your siblings. You are definitely forging your own mm -hmm. path and it is such a blessing to witness. Congratulations to you uh, on your future endeavors at Georgia College and go Bobcats. Thank you so much. Ms. Thank you, baby. So proud of you. Well, well. Hey, Red. Hey, Ms. Pat. How are you doing? <laughs> doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Talk to us. Uh, my name is Chan Knowles. I have two siblings. Um, both of them are older than me, Haley Knowles and Shelby Knowles. Um, both be definitely thought that they were my parents when I was younger, too. <laughs> but um, my actual parents are Tim Knowles and Shannon Knowles. Um, mm -hmm. I come from a really good um, Christian grounded family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I really love them, and I'm involved in uh, various activities. Um, I'm president of FCA, um, Beta Club. Um, I'm a new member to TSA. Mm -hmm. um, I'm president of Interact Club and uh, president of Student Body. I stand before the president. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, you're so active. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you love most about all the things that you do? Um, I don't think there's necessarily one thing that I can necessarily pinpoint and uh -huh. say I just love this the most but I, I do love being on the go uh -huh. so um, I, I rarely ever have any free time people ask me you know what's your favorite thing to watch what's your favorite TV show and I, yeah. I can't tell you the last time I really sat down and had time to wow. look at a TV screen and say hey right, I love right. this show it's, um, yeah. it's school it's work but I love it I love being on the go I love being active I love um, being able to have an influence on other people's lives mm -hmm. and I, I don't like being cooped up I like being able to <laughs> That's um, right. Which is different because yeah. whenever I was younger, I was more kind of reserved. Yeah. But um, the more I got into, especially middle school and then high school, for sure, definitely just busted the bubble. So you have seen yourself, like, really come out of that shell. If you yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, for sure. Talk to us about your academics. Um, so I was announced as this year's um, valedictorian <laughs> of East Lawrence. <laughs> um, 
but that, that's something that I've always <laughs> been raised to put first. Um, or well, one of the things, God, yeah. God first, um, family second, uh, and then friends and grades. That's that's some of the biggest things to me. And um, like grades, this is what determines your future here. Yeah. And um, I don't think a lot of people really realize that um, within school and everything, a lot of people mm -hmm. come and like mess around. But this is this is your life. This yeah. is the foundation of your life right here. For sure. Well, Mr. Valedictorian, how in the world do you uh, keep it together? Because you've got so many things that are going on, and there's and you're still very outgoing. Yes, ma'am. You still have this great personality. I mean, even though you you are so firm for one in your foundation of your faith, but academics as well. And so, talk to us about that. Um. Well, I kind of look at it as God's the sower, mm -hmm. and I'm just part of the thread. He's stitching <laughs> everything together, and um. Pretty much, I mean, I just lean on him. I know yeah. that no matter at the end of the day, um, I'm going to have some place to lay my mm -hmm. head, whether if something were to happen to me or not. I, yeah. I know that God's going to take care of me and my family and my friends, and I, I just want to get out there and be be a lot for others and be mm -hmm. the biggest and best me that I can be to influence others and lead them and so they can live the same life that I feel like I live. Absolutely. And, you know, and for you, uh, you know, it's going to be a little different graduation night. I mean, you have to give that valedictorian address. Yes, ma'am. You know, have you already been, like, have you already written it? Have you been, you know, jotting some notes down, some key points that you want to make sure that you hit? I have. I have. So, um, uh, Benjamin Brantley, he's about to be coming up here shortly. Mm -hmm. um, he was announced as this year's salutatorian. Right. And um, he came up to me as, like, we've been talking a little bit, asking, like, you know, what's what's your idea? Have you got anything written out? And, um so he's supposed to more or less speak more like on the, the past, everything like up until this point. And, mm -hmm. um, it's so hard to talk about the future without talking about the past. Yeah. Because your past is what makes your future your future. For sure. You know, this, this is your foundation you're building now into the, mm -hmm. into the future. For sure. You know, I, and I often think about that and talk about that is you have to always remember where you've come from. Yes, ma'am. So you'll understand where you are now and for where you're going. Yes, ma'am. And so here you are, you're epitomizing that in the way that yes, you live your life and the way that the example that you're setting for your peers and now the valedictorian yes, of the class of 2022. Yes, I know your mama was like beside herself, wasn't she? She was, she was a little <laughs> off the wall. She was, she was definitely uh, proud of me. And for you, what are your, what are your aspirations after high school? Um, so this fall I'll be attending um, UGA mm -hmm. and I'll be entering as a biomedical engineer. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd say an open-minded biomedical engineer just for the right. fact that I say that now, but I know there's a lot more things there at college that I right. could be interested in, and um, I definitely do want to minor in some form of ministry. Though. I love that. I love that. You are the fourth valedictorian I've interviewed that is majoring in that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Two of which are at UGA. <laughs> one is at Georgia Tech. And so here you go here. You know, and for you, Chan, I mean... You have a lot on your shoulders because there's so many kids, people that look up to you. Yes, ma'am. They look up to you because of you're strong in your faith and you're also, you're solid in the way that you think. And so all eyes are definitely on you, have been on you, and that are going to continue to be on you. Any last words you'd like to give with us? Um, I definitely say two biggest things. Yeah. So one, I would say get involved. Um, like definitely clubs, everything, people, that's what's opened me up the most within high school. Just, just get involved. There's more to life than just you. Like, no selfish yeah. way, but like, like life is so much bigger than just you. You're just uh, an individual in the world, but you can make a difference for mm -hmm. sure. But get out and make that difference. Be yeah. that difference. That's and right. um, two, we were just talking about a while ago. I kind of look at life like you're driving a car. Mm -hmm. You got a big open windshield. Right. Everything's laid out in front of you. Mm -hmm. But you do have a rear view mirror. You have your side mirrors. So every now and then you reflect on the past. But for the most part, if you don't keep your eyes forward yeah. and you're looking behind you, you don't know what's coming. That's right. So always look forward and uh, be prepared. Reflect on the past. Remember yeah. the past. But yeah. look forward to the future. Very good. And that's exactly what you're doing, aren't you, baby boy? Yes, ma'am. So proud of you. Look forward to hearing your valedictorian address and look forward to what the future holds for you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Chan Nobles, everyone. Thank you, Chan. Summer's right around the corner, and you know what that means. It's vacation time. Here at Dublin Nissan, we can get you ready for vacation, whether it's a new Nissan or Chevrolet or just servicing your current vehicle. And guys, if you're looking for a new fishing truck, you can't go wrong with this all-new 22 Frontier. And if your needs are bigger, we got the trucks for you, too. It's your choice. I know what mine is. Remember, Don sells Corvettes well. Hurry in to Dublin Chevy Nissan.
I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Jacks on the River would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates of 2022, wishing you the best of success in the future. May the Lord bless and keep you. From Jacks on the River, congratulations to the graduates of 2022. Well, well, how are you? Good to see you. Now, this is our first time interviewing, right? That's right. That's right. Mama, are you ready? I think so. All right, so you've been seeing how this is going, right? Yes, ma'am. So share with us about you, son. Tell us who you are, your parents. Okay, my name is Alan Rubio Saavedra. I am the son of Ruben Rubio and Mireya Saavedra. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a first generation high school graduate. Wow. So a lot of pressure there. A lot of pressure. Uh, I've got one little sister, her name is uh, Allison. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been trying to be a good role model for her, uh, trying to get her into all of these things that I've seen mm -hmm. around here. Uh, here at East Lawrence, I am involved in TSA. I've served as the chapter president for the past three years, mm -hmm. and I am coming to the end of my fifth year in TSA. Wow. So, um, Isn't that where we met initially, coming in doing a show about TSA? I think so. I think oh, so, actually. You guys were doing robots. You were making these robots yes, and things. It was so interesting. Yes, ma'am. That's what we do. So look at the mantle that's on you, first-generation high school graduate. How proud is your family of you? Uh, they're, <laughs> they don't say it right. too often, but I know that they're proud and I'm very lucky to have a family that supports me, mm -hmm. uh, in everything I do. They've told me several times that no matter where I choose to go to school and yeah. for what, they're going to be behind me 100% of the way. Gosh. So when you, amazing. when you, it is amazing. When you look back over your life, you know, when you know, you remember yourself as a little kid, you remember yourself coming into high school, you know, still trying to rediscover who you are and still knowing that mantle that you have on your life um, for your family. What's changed about you and what ways have you seen yourself uh, bloom and what ways have you seen yourself grow up into the man that you are today? Uh, well, starting off in high school, I felt a lot of pressure. Um, around that time, I was, that's when I really started kicking in into uh, academic mode. Right. Uh, I had a lot of pressure trying to keep my grades up. Mm -hmm. uh, then 10th grade is when we got cut short. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was just a weird period, six mm -hmm. months, not really seeing anyone. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. coming back, I, I was able to grow into who I am now. I was able yeah. to be more myself. Mm -hmm. And I was definitely coming out of my shell a lot more. I love that. And you know, one of the other students talked about, you know, uh, being themselves. And we talked about how that's not always easy. Because I think that in, in high school, at this period of our lives, there's a lot of peer pressure to be a certain way. There's a lot of peer pressure to fall into certain groups, but it's also important to be your individual self. And you've come into your own, haven't you? Oh, something like that. <laughs> You're still learning, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still going, but I'm pretty happy with the way that I'm turning out, uh, mm -hmm. despite, you know, uh, it's, it's been a crazy four years. For sure. Tell us about the connections you've made here at East Lawrence. Uh, well, here, uh, I was on the soccer team for three years, mm -hmm. and uh, those boys, uh, no matter how annoying they may get sometimes, they are still <laughs> my family. Yeah. Uh, uh, in TSA, I've met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I've seen people go, and I've seen people come. Right. Uh, I've seen yo uh, younger generations of TSA members mm -hmm. uh, doing stuff that I never could have imagined myself doing. Right. Uh, m mostly the people I met through there. I've made a lot of friendships through that club mm -hmm. and found a sense of belonging there. For sure. And of course, my uh, my classmates like uh, Chan earlier, Brienne, <laughs> and Ben, who's coming up right. soon. Right. Uh, without them, I really couldn't have made it this far. Wow. Those connections are so important, aren't they? They are. So what's next for you? Uh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, the my eyes are set on 
going to Kennesaw State University mm -hmm. uh, for computer engineering. Yes. However, I am on the wait list at Georgia Tech, so yeah. I'm oh, just waiting my. for them to <laughs> let me know something. Are you trying to get up there with Mario? <laughs> uh, a little bit. A little you bit. Know, it, it's, he's a familiar face, yeah. but at yeah. the end of the day, Georgia Tech has a lot of things that I'd really love to yeah. experience. And Both of those are tremendous institutions, and wherever you go, you're going to flourish. Wherever you're going to go, you're going to make yourself proud of yourself, and your family is going to be proud of you because of the legacy that you're building and that you're definitely going to leave behind. And so thank you for the mark that you have made here for East Lawrence. Our lives are better for having you in it. Thank you. Thank you, son. Good job. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. All right. You've been listening to these interviews, haven't you? I have. This is our first time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Are you ready to chat with me? I think so. Okay. Share with us about yourself, your parents, your family, and things that you're involved in, okay? Um, my name is Cassie Crutchfield. I'm 18. My likes and dislikes mm -hmm. are, my likes are basically any four-legged animal. <laughs> Do you have pets? I have four pets, two dogs and two cats. Oh my gosh. And what are your dislikes? <laughs> my dislikes are amphibians, arachnids, <laughs> basically anything that's slimy or has more than four legs. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. And so for you, Cassie, now your mama's the assistant principal here. Yes, she is. Tell us how your experience has been. Um, these past two years have been better than my entire education at West Lawrence wow. because I was bullied and mm -hmm. put down a lot at West Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. Nobody would do anything about it, but here mm -hmm. I have not come across one person that would bully me or put me down for who I am. So you feel uh, you feel more valued. I feel a lot more valued mm -hmm. and. A, a whole lot more loved wow. by my peers. And you know, I'm I'm so sorry for everything that you have experienced, darling, but I'm so thankful for the new memories that you have made and, and the relationships you've built that have helped build you up from the inside out. I am too. I truly am. So tell me what things have you been involved in here? Have you been doing any, um, any clubs you've been a part of? I have been a part of FCCLA and mm -hmm. um, Miss Lofton's Club. Yes. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> That's all right. And so here it is. You've been a part of FCCLA, FBLA as well with Miss Lofton. And so uh, have you been able to build friendships throughout those clubs? Have those helped you? Uh, I have built, f built friendships mm -hmm. with Miss Brazil and Miss Lofton as well as my peers. Oh my gosh. So this has been a really good experience for you, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it has. It's like a family over here. And um, you very happy to be a part of it. And I'm happy you're a part of it, you know, and there's nothing like family. And when you're able to come into a situation and really be embraced, that really helps you be able to be productive in everything that you do, right? It is correct. That is very true. <laughs> now, what are you going to miss? Are you going to miss anything about East Lawrence? I will miss being a part of the family. Yes, yes. And, you know, even when you're gone, you know you're always going to be family. Ah, uh, that is correct. <laughs> And so what's next for you? What do you plan on doing after you graduate high school? If I get accepted, I might go to Oconee, but mm -hmm. I'm not certain. You're not sure. certain. If, I, if I'm not accepted, then um, I will probably continue working for Miss Tara at Tara J. Salon and Hair Replacement. Oh, my gosh. That's my friend. So I'm glad you're working with someone special. And to Oconee Fall Line, I'm quite sure you're going to get in. That is a great school, and it's not too far from home, right? That is correct. So you'll still be close to your sweet mama. And I'm still going there for cosmetology. Oh, there it is. Well, that's perfect. So you already kind of figured out, you're already kind of working in the career that you want to go in, right? I am. Very good. Is if there, I it, can't be accepted there, then I, I, I will be continuing working at Miss Tars, mm -hmm. or I will become a babysitter. Oh, man. I'm amazing with kids and... Um, <laughs> They really love me. I've never met one young child that is not loving me. You know, it's probably because you're a sweetie pie. <laughs> I am very sweet. You're a sweetie pie. I well, just want to be myself. Will you always be yourself, continue to be kind to people, and it's going to come right back to you, okay? I have been kind to a lot of people, and <laughs> they 
in turn have been kind to me. Wonderful. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you. <laughs> and congratulations to you, baby. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Mmm. Good job. Congratulations to the class of 2022 from Farmers State Bank. Life is filled with milestones, and Farmer State Bank would like to take this opportunity to salute all the graduating class this year. Your hard work and determination is commendable, and the professional lenders at FSB recognizes the senior class of 22. Farmer State Bank looks forward to building relationships and helping you reach the next milestone in your life. Remember, your future is as easy as FSB. Farmers State Bank, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Summer's right around the corner, and you know what that means. It's vacation time. Here at Dublin Nissan, we can get you ready for vacation, whether it's a new Nissan or Chevrolet, or just servicing your current vehicle. And guys, if you're looking for a new fishing truck, you can't go wrong with this all new 22 Frontier. And if your needs are bigger, we got the trucks for you too. It's your choice. I know what mine is. Remember, Don sells Corvettes well. Hurry in to Dublin Chevy Nissan. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus would like to congratulate the class of 2022. Remember class, all your jewelry needs can be met at Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus. And all repairs and sizing are done in house. Is even confidential loans at Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus. Congratulations to the class of 2022 where you'll find graduation charms and silver dollars for this year's class of 2022. Congratulations from the Sanchez family at Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, 304 Pine Forest Street in Dublin. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to get uh, the opportunity to chat with these young people. And, and you know, it's, it's amazing because their experiences, some of them are so different. And so it's like when we talked about not forgetting where you've come from and, of course, embracing that and, and moving forward, it's such a, a refreshing feeling to know that these kids are definitely moving forward. So we've got another young man here who is also moving forward. How are you, son? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. All right. Share with us about who you are, your family, and things that you have been actively involved in here at East Lawrence High School. All right. My name is David Lopez. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, you know, the son of Misael and Ernestina Lopez. Mm -hmm. I've been a part of TSA. I've been a part of soccer and um, for three years. And then I was a part of the Band of Gold. Mm -hmm. Then I parted my ways there. And then, <laughs> um, I will, that's, that's about it. And you know, David, I met you some years ago. You were you were young. Was that in band? Was that part of band? Yes, ma'am. It was a part of band. And now here, year. here you are. You're graduating. Yes, ma'am. What's changed about you? Uh, what areas have you improved on, or or become more self-aware and have um, you know become a better person throughout the years? Uh, I've been more confident mm -hmm. these past four years. Uh, yeah. You know, burst in my bubble, <laughs> and then um, well, uh, I see that I you know mature from where I started in my ninth grade year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean. What, what's been the highlight of your, uh, of your time here at East Lawrence? What's been a highlight and what's been a low light? Uh, my highlight was, you know, getting to know people, mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. out there. You know, these teachers, they're, they're so awesome. Yeah. And I love, you know, being around them. They're right. family to me. And uh, my lowest was, you know, difficulties in grades. Mm -hmm. Kind of got mm -hmm. low there. Yeah. And. I'm trying to bring myself back. Yeah. yeah. And now here you are. I mean, you're living proof of it. You're about to graduate, son. Yes, ma'am. You're pulling yourself out of that hole. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, you've made so many connections. Yes, ma'am. What are you going to miss? <laughs> are you going to miss anything? Uh, I'm going to miss everything. Everything. Family here. Oh, wow. Every, everyone here in East Lawrence is, you know, a family yeah, to me. For yeah. sure. Yes, and, you know, if you could, could say anything to that ninth grade David mm -hmm. Lopez, from things that you already know now, what would you say to him? Uh, well, starting off, well, don't be scared of getting involved. Don't yeah. be scared of, you know, the uh, interaction with people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. getting more involved and, yeah, I mean. Yeah, because you've been, in, you've been involved in quite a bit. You've mm -hmm. retired from, from band. From band. <laughs> <laughs> what's next? When you turn that tassel, what's next for David Lopez? Uh, well, I'm enlisted in the Army. And cool. I'm leaving wow. July the 5th to go to basic training. 
Oh my God! And I got AIT in October. Are you going to be in Fort Leonard Wood? Uh, I'm going to be in Fort Jackson, in Fort South Jackson, Carolina. South Carolina. Oh my gosh! Right. I was an Army wife for 20 years, really? so very honorable. Now I'm an uh, Air Force spouse, but so proud of you. Yes, oh right. my! Is there anyone in your family that is enlisted or or officers in the military? No, ma'am. I'm first generation. Oh my gosh! Look <laughs> at you. <laughs> You tearing it up, aren't you? Yes, sir. What did your mom say when you said, "Mom, I want to go into the army"? She was all in. She said she would support. <laughs> well, she was, you know, sad. Yeah. Uh, of course, because you know I'm going off for quite a few years, yeah. and and I mean, both of them, my family, were you know all supportive, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. as you know any other family. Yeah. And yeah, they they've just been very supportive with me. And you know that's huge. Mm -hmm. That's huge because when we do the interviews, we know that everybody is not, you know, going to college mm -hmm. like right off. Not everybody's doing that. And college is not for everyone. And then when you talk about military service, <laughs> My, you know, that minority group of high schoolers and how admirable that, that is. And, and that's a huge step to take. Yes, ma'am. But you're ready for it, aren't I'm you? I'm so ready to go on. And what I can say to you for what I know about military life and, and about soldiers and, and the work, uh, you're, you're going to do very well. Thank you. You've got a good head on your shoulder. You're smart. You've got a good personality. And when you set your mind on doing something, accomplishing it yes, you accomplish it yes ma'am so proud of you anything else son you want to share uh, with us that's about it all right keep doing great things look forward to hearing about what's happening in your life thank you all right congratulations to all you right. son thank you. good job all hail the queen <laughs> ariana calice hill yes ma'am hello queen ariana hey, how are you doing well how are you good where's your crown at at home <laughs> I didn't want to just you didn't want to just you didn't want to give yes, it all to us yes. right no not yet that was so exciting it was oh my gosh ladies and gentlemen just Saturday night this young lady uh, was crowned <laughs> prom queen yes Ariana I've been knowing you for a while haven't I a long time you know what we call each other people <laughs> Snacks. Snack. <laughs> First time when she called me that, I said, what? I didn't know what she meant. Right. You was like, what is that? <laughs> a snack. Like, you look good. Okay. And that was my way of complimenting her. Yes. Like, Miss Pat, you look good. Yeah. But I was using it in my vocabulary. Like, I was like, oh, snack. snack? I mean, Buffet I'm too. Thank you. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> All right. All right. We got to be professional right. here. All right, Ariana. Share with us, the people of Dublin Lawrence County, about you, things that you have been involved in here, and talk about your family. So, hello everyone. <laughs> my name is Ariana Hill. My mom is Bernice Burley. I have four siblings, Coretta Hill, Ralph Hill, Brianna Hill, and Lisha Hill, and then it's me, I'm the baby. Um, I played basketball and I ran track, but mm -hmm. I didn't run track this year because I hurt my foot at mm -hmm. the end of our basketball season. Right. And I am involved in Dublin City Youth Council where I am the mayor pro tem. Um, I'm the secretary of my East Lawrence, like my class, mm -hmm. class 2022. And what else? I am a part of the Honors Society Club, mm -hmm. Spanish. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh my! As I can think of right the now, Madam and Mayor, I work too. and you work. Yes. Oh my gosh, Madam Mayor, Queen, Everything. the list goes on and on. Yes. Ariana, as the baby girl, mm, so much pressure. Baby, so much pressure being the baby. Uh, tell me about how supportive your family is of you. They're very supportive. <laughs> they make me happy also. Oh, my God. And I've loved your family. I've known your family for many, many years. And so for you, I mean, this high school experience, have you really been living your best life? Best life. <laughs> best what life. has been the most exciting thing about being a part of East Lawrence? I think for me is just being involved in the school, like having a voice, being like that optimistic girl. Like, yeah. I just like to talk. I like to meet new people and mm -hmm. that's something I'm going to miss. Yeah. Just coming to school and like being involved. Mm -hmm. Cause you make a change, whether sure. you know it or not, little voice or big voice. You, right. You're gonna have a change. And you know, and, and like with all, we experienced some challenging things. What's been the most challenging about high school? 
you know, I really don't know. It's just transitioning into the person who you're becoming. Like, yeah. from mm-hmm. when you're younger and you don't notice until, like, you reflect back. Like, yeah, that was me. Yeah. And this is me now. Have you changed a lot? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. You've changed a lot. And so, you know, graduation, um, it's a very special time. You're going to have your family, you're going to be surrounded by your family, your friends, uh, the, this family here, your class. Uh, and there are going to be so many things going through your mind. Yes. I'm going to have mixed emotions because, like you said earlier, it's happy, but it's like you also sad. Yes. It's, it's, it's a bittersweet moment. I'm going to tell you what's, what's sweet is that rose ceremony. Mm, I can't mess up my makeup. Huh, this is what you're going to have to do, baby, because it's going to get emotional. And so, you know, what's next for you after high school? So I am a little undecisive, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Uh, a plan is going to OFTC for cosmetology. Oh. I also still want to be a flight attendant and continue, mm-hmm. continue modeling. Oh, But, wow. yes, OFTC is like yeah. a first a first for sure. Yes, ma'am. And that's that's a great school. It's not far from home. Right. You'll still be able to model. And then, of course, you know, uh, becoming a flight attendant. I know friends. I have friends who are flight attendants yes, and models. Yes. I can have them call you just to give you some advice. Yes. But, you know, that is so fantastic. And so, for you, what advice do you want to give to young people, the, uh, the underclassmen? Because you have to, uh, to be okay with yourself. Right. And I think as freshmen, it's difficult. It's a little bit difficult. I mean, we... We uh, reiterate about that peer pressure and having to feeling as though you have to be a certain way. Right. What advice you want to give to those young people? I would just say it's okay not to be okay. Like I was in y'all shoes before, and <laughs> this is me now. Yeah. So just trust the process. Be confident. Yeah. Get involved in school. Like you, if you have a problem, try to have some type of say so, but just mm-hmm. be yourself have confidence and everything will work out everything happens for a reason trust me so and yes. and things are definitely happening for you and for the reason of the fact that you are working hard you're being very conscious with the decisions you're making and it is definitely there is proof in that pudding yes congratulations to you Ariana Thank you. all hail the Queen Dr. Avery and Dr. Chuckapella are glad to announce the opening of Central Georgia Primary Care right next to Paul's Tire at 230 Industrial Boulevard. At Central Georgia Primary Care, we offer highly skilled physicians with compassionate, personalized care focused on each individual patient as our top priority every single day. Our physicians have devoted a lifetime of excellence in health care. It's Central Georgia Primary Care, bringing state-of-the-art health care right here at home. Georgia Military College is a two-year associate's degree granting institution. We are an open admissions college. What that means is all you need to do is have a high school diploma or a GED to get accepted into GMC. We offer several associate's degree programs, including business administration, pre-nursing, psychology, criminal justice, as well as education. We offer classes during the morning, evening, and at night. We even offer some weekend classes. We offer online classes as well as in-seat classes, whatever is convenient for you and your schedule. We are located at 200 South Jefferson Street in Dublin, Georgia. If you want a great education with small class sizes, affordable tuition, we would love to see you here. Stop by to see us or give us a call. Start here, go anywhere. Georgia Military College, Dublin Campus. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you, Ms. Doing Brown? well. Nice to see you again. And nice to see you. All right, are you ready to share with us? I am. Okay, go for it. All right, my name is Caitlin Russell. I'm the 17-year-old daughter of Cricket Urshery and the sister to a sophomore here at East Lawrence, mm-hmm. Christian Urshery. Um, a few little organizations that I am a part of. Mm-hmm. I'm a part of our National Beta. Um, I'm also a part of the FBLA program here, mm-hmm. and as well as a band member. I'm mm-hmm. the actual senior captain of wow. the flute section here. Congratulations to you Thank on that, Caitlin. You. Now, Caitlin, um, have you been here at East Lawrence your entire life? I have been here since kindergarten. Since kindergarten. So there's so many people <laughs> that you have grown up with. Yes. Uh, a lot of these people you have interviewed before and yeah. after me. <laughs> I'm friends with a lot of them, grew up with them. We've all watched each other over yeah. the years. 
And, you know, Caitlin, we talk about, you know, what's been the highs and lows here at school. I mean, I think that, you know, we, you yourself, you experienced something that was tragic, which of us all is with Brianna Dice. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, coming to, coming into the school right after that and, and just seeing the, the strength mm -hmm. that I don't think that you all knew that you had. Yeah, um, after, after the passing of our friend Bree this year, you know, we've always been a strong family, especially our, our band family where, you know, mm -hmm. we're really strong and it was nice to even not even just our band kids to see the yeah. support that we had when we were going through that time. Uh, it was uh, something to be admired because when you're talking about a tragedy and someone who's very close to you who are your family and when they pass it, so it's, it does something to you. It does. Uh, and it does something to you on the inside and it doesn't always translate outwardly. And uh, what I witnessed in you was something uh, really spectacular mm -hmm. because you really had to push through. I did. It was it was really hard. I know. Um, I grew up with Bree. Like we were really close. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> yeah. We would spend our days together, hanging out, doing things. So it was a little hard to handle her yeah. not being there anymore. Especially you know coming into band class and mm -hmm. seeing that she's not there anymore. Yeah. You know. It was different. I remember the last interview I did with her, you know, and she stressed uh, how important her, uh, you all are like family to mm -hmm. her. And, you know, so I think that even though with her passing, she's still yet alive. Uh, her spirit is still flowing freely here in the it school is. with the band and everything that you all do. And so that bond will always last. It will. And so for you, what's next for you after graduation? Uh, after graduation, I am currently enrolled to start in the fall at Middle Georgia for social work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know my babies go to Middle Georgia. <laughs> and you know, for you, uh, social work, that's definitely a helping, uh, that is a helping ministry when you're talking about uh, working with families. It and is. you have the compassion and the skill in what it takes to help those families, don't you? Yes, I do, or at least I hope I do. <laughs> We're going to find you know, out, aren't I've we? always, you know, I've always tried to be nice to everybody, you know, make everybody feel included, you mm -hmm. know, and I always love working with kids and just working with families in general. So I'm really excited to start mm -hmm. that in the fall and being able to become a social worker and being able just to help people in general. For sure. And, you know, we've got excellent social workers here uh, at Lawrence County Schools, so they will be perfect to job shadow just to kind of see uh, the area of where you feel that you fit in. Yes. Well, we're so very proud of you. So Thank proud you. of what you've done and what the future is going to hold for you. And we know that whatever you do, you're going to make a difference in someone else's life. Congratulations, <laughs> baby. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good job, baby. Hello, Miss Rock. Hello. Is this our salutatorian himself? It is, yes, ma'am. Good to see you, son. Good to see you, too. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, share with us about you. Uh, I'm Ben Brantley. I'm 18. Uh, I'm involved in a lot of things at school, mm -hmm. some of which I might forget, but some of those are <laughs> soccer, cross country, football, all for four years except for football. I started my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the treasurer of the Interact Club, and I was a part of the Drama Club and helped put on our production. Ben, you're so busy. I am. I am. And you were dancing your heart out at the prom. I mean, you only get two proms, <laughs> and... The people who left right after King and Queen, yeah. I was like, what in the world are they doing? But I spent $60 on it, and I was going to make the most of it. Oh, honey, and you did. And yeah, it I was, did. It was hilarious watching <laughs> you all. It was just so much fun uh, getting on the dance floor with you all. I said, I can't show you all everything. Miss Pat cannot show you everything. Yes, but just seeing you all and the way you had so much fun, you guys looked great. And it's like that was a time where you could just truly let your hair down. Right. Yes, ma'am, it was. Wow. And so, Ben, if you could really uh, bring together how your high school experience has been, what would you say? I'd say it, it's been great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that there's words I could use to describe it. It's been a lot of ups and downs, twists mm -hmm. and turns. But in the mm -hmm. end, we're here. Uh, I don't think in the beginning I ever saw myself in the position I'm in now. Uh, I, de I definitely didn't think I was going to be the salutatorian. There's a lot of brilliant, excellent people in this school. And by chance, I happen to be here. <laughs> but yes, ma'am. And you also just won another award for most for positive athlete in what field? Uh, cross country. Cross country for, yes, for middle Georgia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ben, you're so very impressive. And I think that every time that we have a conversation, I learn something more about you and the type of person that you are. Uh, tell us about your family. My family, 
All right, so my mom is Holly Manley, and my dad is Rodney Manley. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two brothers that go to school here, Parker Manley and Matt Brantley. Mm -hmm. And then I have three other siblings that are out of school, Matthew Manley, Jake Brantley, and Kenzie Manley. So you've got a big family. Yes, ma'am, I do. And you've had a great support system, haven't you? I have, yes, ma'am. I've seen Rodney on the sidelines <laughs> taking pictures. You know, I had asked him when he was solely, you know, doing the sports, you know, for the paper. He said he had to give some things up so that he could actually be that dad. Yes, ma'am. To be there for you all. And so that is pretty, uh, pretty wonderful. And so you have to give this salutatorian address. Yes, ma'am. And I think that you and the valedictorian have already been trying to work out how, you know, how are you going to tackle this beast? Yes, ma'am, we have. <laughs> We've talked about it some. And for you, I mean, every time we interview, you always do well. And so being in front of a crowd, I think with you, it comes natural. Yes, ma'am. I've, I've learned to love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a necessary evil for some people. Yes, ma'am. And so for you, I mean, it's huge. I mean, you're being a, you're a part of history and the things that you've accomplished and that you've achieved. And I know that your family is so proud of you, and we're definitely proud of you. So what is next for you? What happens after you turn that tassel? All right, so in the fall, I'm going to be attending Middle Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go get a degree in elementary and special education. Oh. Although I want to be a high school teacher, but they didn't offer that there. But I wanted to stay local. Yeah. And to be a high school teacher, you just have to take a GACE exam and pass mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. then get your certification. So that's what I'm going to do. And that way I'm certified for whatever I want to teach and elementary if I want to fall back. So, Ben, you're trying to tell me that we're going to get you back? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you <laughs> My are. My goodness. This is how it works out, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am, it does. You know, you have so much to offer people. And so going into the career field of education is going to be perfect for you. Is there anything else you want to say to the people out there of Dublin, Lawrence County? Uh. No, ma'am, not much more I want to say. I think I've covered it all. <laughs> We're so proud of you. The salutatorian, ladies and gentlemen, of the class of 2022, Ben Brantley. Thank you. Good job, baby. Good job. Wow. These are so fun. Hi. Hi, Pat. Hi darling. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. You know, when I asked if anybody was nervous, you were the only one. You're the one told me you were nervous. Mm -hmm. Have we not done this before? No, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. This is our first and our last then, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. All right, so listen, this is gonna be quite easy. You're gonna tell everybody about yourself, okay? Talk okay. about you and your family and what you've been involved in here at East Lawrence. Okay, my name is Destiny Hatcher. I'm 18 and um, my, my mother and father are Michelle Ricks Johnson and mm -hmm. Christopher Johnson. I've been dual enrolled my 11th and 12th grade year and mm -hmm. I currently hold an assistant manager position at my job. Where do you work? Little Caesars Pizza. Destiny, is that where I saw you? Probably. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I've been eating Little Caesars since I was in college. When they it is first pretty started, cheap. It, it is pretty cheap. That's good eating. And so here it is, you're in a management position, you're dual enrolled, and you're uh, handling, so you've got college courses, you've got high school, and you're working. It's how hectic. Do, how do you keep it together, honey? I just, I know whatever, through whatever comes my way, I'm gonna get through it, so yeah. I just, bite down, I do the best I can, and just try to arrange my schedule the best to my abilities. Oh my God, do you ever have any downtime where you can just relax? I do try to take, you know, a mm -hmm. couple of days off here and there what to just you? relax at home and yeah. just chill with my family, mm -hmm. specifically my mom and my dad. Ah, uh, you know? talk to us about your family. Um, well, my dad per se, is mm -hmm. actually my stepfather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he's been one of my biggest supporters wow. throughout my whole mm -hmm. academic standing you mm -hmm. know and um my mama is right up there Your with him mama. they are my biggest supporters <laughs> and um i'm really grateful for them and you know destiny uh you talk about family mm -hmm. and then you have this family here yeah talk to us about this family the connections you've made here well it's been it's been crazy throughout these last four years yeah. you know knowing that we're fixing to to leave and mm -hmm. move on with our lives. But some of these people, you know, majority of these people, everybody, yeah. including staff, teachers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I formed connections with all of them. Yeah. And you know, it's been, it's been a great experience. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So is, is it bittersweet for you? It is very. What do you want to tell uh, the under the underclassmen? Because you know, um, it's high school is a, is a beast in itself, yes. right? And so, and I think that it, especially freshmen, when you come into high school, you have your own perception of how things are going to be, and then there it is. Yes. What do you want to say to encourage the young people out there? Well, I'm going to say this because I wish I could have said it to myself. Go ahead. As a freshman. Go ahead. 
just stay on top of your grades, mm-hmm. but have fun while you're doing it. Yeah. Don't stay cooped up. Go out, have fun. Just mm-hmm. make sure you're making good decisions. Wow. Spoken like a true young woman who has been there, done that, and definitely got the T-shirt for it. There it is. Congratulations <laughs> to you, darling. Thank you, Miss. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, baby girl. Great job. Congratulations to the class of 2022 from everyone at Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay Realty. Remember, knowledge is power. And choosing Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay as your real estate company, you'll always have up-to-date information on the local market, prompt and professional service, and satisfaction guaranteed. That's what you'll get when you're dealing with the number one realty company in the area. For more information, visit c21dublin.com. Call us at 272-1535 or visit Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay at 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Broker George Dirt. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. I don't know why I'm feeling a little bit emotional but I'm feeling a little bit emotional because I think that as we're talking, you know, the kids are, are, are looking back in retrospect of what they've experienced and then me myself, because I'm like, okay, these are my last inter- interview- interviews. <laughs> hey, baby boy. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, have we interviewed before? Yes, ma'am. What did we talk about? Um, I know we did one interview for something to do with, uh, academics. Something. How how old were you? What grade was that? Uh, my junior year. It okay. was uh, last, okay. no, last semester. Last year. All right, here we go. Are you ready now? I believe so. Talk to us. Tell us who you are, your family, and what's been going on with you here at East Lawrence. Uh, well, my name is Kevin Strudwick. Um, I'm 17 years old. I've been here at East Lawrence my whole life. Um, my family, my mother is Tamiki Roberts, and my dad is Travis Roberts. Uh, I am a brother to like seven sisters, I believe. Well, wait, what? Wait a minute. I know your, if, know your if, family. If I'm, not, if I'm not missing anybody or counting extras. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, but, well, the ones I know off rip, uh, my sister, my older sister, she graduated class of 20, Tamia Strudwick, and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. also have my two stepsisters, Jatia Roberts and Tamia Roberts. Jatia graduated also class of 20, and Tamir Roberts is a sophomore oh, here mm-hmm. at, uh, no, a junior here at, mm-hmm. um, at East Lawrence, uh, part of the special ed class. She mm-hmm. has autism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, overall, my family, my biggest support system, even yeah. the ones that aren't, I'm not you know, right. necessarily related to, that have come you know come mm-hmm. along along the way mm-hmm. uh that have supported me right they you know big, been my I biggest help no i get it and you know and what things have you been doing here have you been doing sports uh Any i did clubs? i did football my first two years here mm-hmm. and once COVID hit i decided to stop yeah and uh once i came back i became a part of the drama club and it's my favorite club <laughs> And um, Coach Turner wanted me to help out with a uh, film to help the coaches, you know, mm-hmm. really look at, you know, what they needed to work on, you know, with practices and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I was glad to be at least a part of the team in a, a mm-hmm. rich, you know, the sense of uh, us getting to the playoffs for the first time ah. in a decade. Um, so congratulations to them. For sure. Uh, they really worked hard this year mm-hmm. um, as far as drama it's it was a great experience yeah. uh being a part of that and uh we we did pretty good at uh, our competition last mm-hmm. semester mm-hmm. uh we worked s- tremendously hard trying yeah. to get it together it was yeah. stressful yeah uh but i think in the end we 
we did our best. We forgot some lines, but <laughs> nobody knew but us. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Um, but overall, it was a great experience. For sure. And I think I'm really going to miss all of it. Uh, well, you know, when I say I love drama, okay? Yes, ma'am. Not bad drama, good drama. <laughs> but, you know, just being a part of a group and working so hard together, you truly become connected. You truly become like family. Yes, ma'am. And that's, that's really one of the things I'm going to miss because... Uh, coming into high school, other than my sister and some of her friends, yeah. I didn't really hang with a lot of people. Right. And I think once, uh, you know, the year started going by, I realized, especially after COVID, it was mm -hmm. like, if you don't take advantage of, you know, the people that are around you and yeah. what's going on, you're going to miss it because, yeah. like, in the blink of an eye, here we are getting mm -hmm. ready to graduate. That's right. And um, I really cherish all the friendships that I have here at East Lawrence and even outside of school with all yeah. my other friends. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard because you've truly made some connections. Yes, in whatever shape, form, or fashion, you've made connections. And is it easy for you to kind of, uh, to make friends or do, or you kind of stand back a little bit and just kind of test the water and see how, you know, people are? Or um, is it easy, for, do you just go, go right in? I'll say it's pretty easy for me to make friends. Yeah. It's just, it was just really, me not wanting to, I, I could say my younger self, I was in a shell, but I think once I just, you know, got out, got out mm -hmm. of doing, you know, my own thing right. and started being involved with the community and other people, mm -hmm. it was really easy. And then I think a lot of people that I am friends with will say, you know, they look at me and it's like, oh, Kevin's such a character, <laughs> you know, but uh, I would say myself, um, I'm a pretty okay person <laughs> to to be around sometimes right right um but overall like the friendships that i've made here have been amazing and yeah. i hope to keep you know connected with some of these people mm -hmm. yeah uh and I, but i know a lot of people are going to have busy schedules so we never know yeah but yeah i'm really going to miss everybody for sure for sure mm -hmm. so what's next though where, where are you headed uh, i plan on heading to savannah to attend scad um <gasps> I plan mm -hmm. on uh, going there, uh, majoring in performing arts, and also <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Dramatic writing, as well as uh, creative business leadership. Oh my goodness! Um, I do have a couple of ideas that I also pitched to some of the professors at yeah. uh, SCAD when I went to a SCAD the SCAD tour. Wait, Kevin, you have pitched ideas to the SCAD professors? Yes, ma'am. You're going to be dangerous, Kevin. You're going to be dangerous. You're going to be dangerous. So Megan Scarborough is also going to SCAD. Yes, ma'am. And so, wow. I mean, that is tremendous. I mean, Savannah College of Art and Design is one. It's, it's a great school. It's prestigious. It really is. Mm -hmm. And so, and what you're going to be majoring in. Performing arts. Yes. You got to keep in touch with me. Yes, ma'am. You've got to keep in touch with me. Let me know how that's going. And when you have performances, let us know. We can go down there and check it <laughs> yes, out. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. And so Savannah's not too far away. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you're going to SCAD, and so you've got family that you're connected with, and so you still know what it takes to still keep those connections. Yes, ma'am. Even in the distance, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. We expect nothing but great things from you, son. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Kevin, ladies and gentlemen, good job. I love it. Hello, butterfly. Hi, hey, how darling. Are you? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm great. All right. Share with everybody all about you, okay? Well, my name is Peyton Ellington. Um, my parents are April and Jeffrey Ellington. My mom's a teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher here. She just fourth grade, and I have a sister, Lauren Ellington, and she's in the eighth grade here. Oh. So throughout high school, I've um, been in beta. Mm -hmm. I am in the Spanish Honor Society, and I have cheered mm -hmm. all throughout high school and. There's been some other things, but those have been what's... Those have been... The cheer's been the most important, cheer's been honestly. I mean, I, I love... I'm <laughs> all on top of my grades, but that's been... That's taken up most of my time. And so. talk about these relationships that you formalize being a part of so many things. Um, It's honestly, like, my best friends. Wow. I have met, like, everybody that's truly, like, important in my life, mm -hmm. It's it's been here. Wow. What are you going to miss most? Probably the friendships I that I made, the relationships that I made. It's It's... It's different, isn't it? It is. And, and you know, and when I, I ask that question to everybody simply because, you know, when you're in it, you don't really realize it. And I think everyone kind of says the same thing. I feel like we're pretty close. Yeah. And that's important. 
these bonds that you have and that you've formalized, it's going to help. It has helped you probably get through high school. It has. Because high school is something else, isn't it? Definitely <laughs> is. It's. And so for you, being a cheerleader now, is this something you think you want to continue after high school? I would love to. Ah! I would love to. That's what, kind of... Have you been planning things? What's it look like for you? I'm not exactly sure. Um, I have a lot of options as far as like the schools that I've been right. accepted to. I've been accepted to pretty much everywhere I've applied to. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting. I've yeah. been really indecisive. I don't want to end up in like the wrong spot. Well, and then, you know, not be comfortable with where I'm at because I've truly mm -hmm. loved it here. I just yeah. want to know that like wherever I go, I'm going to truly enjoy yeah. it. And two, you know, you're, you're a family here and that's important to you. And I think that your socialization and being able to socialize with others helps make you the Peyton that you are, right? And so wherever you decide to go, I know it's going to be somewhere where you're definitely going to flourish or that I you need so. to flourish. I definitely hope so. Anything you want to say to uh, the people out there? I would just tell anyone that even if they're a junior or they're starting yeah. out high school, um, I would truly say just enjoy it that, you know, I will, like I'm on top of my grades. I really yeah. am. Mm -hmm. But I would just say enjoy it. And sometimes don't stress about it so much because I would just enjoy high school while you're here because you only get it for four years. So. That's it, honey. And you're turning that tassel. I know. Are you ready, Peyton? I'm not. Me neither. I'm not. Me neither. I'm going to miss everything about high school. Well, we're so proud of you. Thank you for leaving your mark here. Thank you for uh, being such a blessing to others and mentoring other young girls. The ones that struggle, you're there to help pick them up, and we thank you for that. Thank you. So proud of you. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> Bye, you sweet thing. Hi, I'm Kyle Gerard, A Plus Flooring and Construction. We can build you any new structure from the ground up, just like we're building a brand new showroom here that's going to open up in March. So give us a call, 478-676-2662. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Hello, my cheetah sister. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. All right, so you've been sitting back. You've been watching everything, right? Yes, ma'am. Is this our first interview together? It is. Our first and our last? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Are you ready to talk about you? Yeah, I guess so. Do the best you can, baby. <laughs> Tell us about you and your family and whatever you've been involved in here and in um, East Lawrence. My name is Michaela Norris. I am 17 years old. Um, I'm a senior. Um, I really haven't been in much at school. Right, I right. Just, you work, you're a working woman. Yes, ma'am. You're a working woman. Where do you work at? I work at Piggly Wiggly. Hmm, one of my favorite spots. Yes, and so, Michaela, here it is. Now, are you dual enrolled or are you strictly working in, no, in this school? I just work. And so here it is, you know, you've got a lot of kids who have never worked that are seniors in high school. Yes, ma'am. And here it is, you, you've got this job, you're, trying, you're getting your grades together. What, what are you going to miss about your high school experience? Um, probably like the good times that we had. Yeah. Because we, like as a class, you know, we've had bad times and we've had good mm -hmm. times. But mm -hmm. I think the good times definitely outweigh the bad times that we've had. Yeah. So probably just the good times, the laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the last. And you know, yeah, you all have gone through a lot. And of course, I think your sophomore year is when the pandemic happened. Yes, ma'am. Everything went, Err. and if you could imagine how it was for you all, well, how do you think it was for the senior class? Right. It was rough. And I remember uh, then we had to do, um, we still wanted to do senior interviews, but we were doing them, how were we doing it, Kevin? Like Skyping and all kinds of uh, FaceTime. It was something else. Yes, ma'am. And now here it is. You all have uh, you've gone through the pandemic together. You're getting ready to graduate in a few weeks. What is it ha that you have learned, Michaela, about yourself that have, you know that you had to grow into and to become the woman you are today? Um, I would say definitely like whatever situation comes, you know, you had just you have to just put your best, put your all into it because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. regardless, it's gonna work out either yeah. the bad way or the good way. So just give it your all. Do your best. Yeah. And that's so, what you've been doing. Yes, that's what you've been doing. And so are you going to, what's happening for you after high school? Um, well, I have, I've been accepted into 
them for some schools, mm-hmm. some colleges. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to go to Southeastern, which I would be, which my schooling would be covered fully. Oh wow! Um, Aren't you a REIT scholar too? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations to that. You know. And so for you, you've got a lot of things going on when you're talking about being a woman because you're working, you're in school, and if you do go to college, whatever you decide, you've already got money right there to help take care of it and take the pressure off your parents yes, and yourself. All right, yes, anything ma'am. else? Um, no, ma'am, that's all. All right, well, it's been a pleasure meeting you and a pleasure chatting with you. Yes, ma'am, same I'm to a, you. I'm going to come see you and pick the people. All right. <laughs> Act like you know me now. All right. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Well, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have you and I interviewed before? No, ma'am. Wait a minute. Another first, last? Yes, okay. Ma'am. Saving the best for last. Saving the best for last. Share with us, young lady. Uh, hi, my name is Marley Lloyd. Uh, my parents are Amy and Mark Lloyd. Mm-hmm. I have a younger brother, Mason, who's a junior here, and mm-hmm. an older sister, Fairby Lloyd. I I'm in the drama club, and I do dual enrollment, and I'll be uh, graduating with my associate's degree. Oh my God, Marley, and that's so impressive. Thank you so much. That is so impressive. Uh, you're a middle child. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Middle child, you're in the drama club, and you're getting your associates along with your bachelor's. Honey, yes, ma'am. that's impressive. How have you been able to keep all of your studies going, staying afloat, and making it all work? Probably a to-do list. Yeah. I love to-do lists. Yeah, I I'll, have to. I'll write everything down, and also my mom and my dad just yeah. helping me, definitely comforting me through the hard times and mm-hmm. everything. Um, and they've really have kept me going through yeah. all my studies and everything, and helped supporting me through everything. I love that. And so you know, I'm a list person. I have to write it down, and I like to check it. I actually draw I a line through. You know, that shows a sense of accomplishment, accomplishment in our brains, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And so now, do you remember yourself when you were a freshman? Oh my goodness, yes. Tell me about tell me about Marley in the ninth grade. Um, awkward, <laughs> awkward, really loud. Yeah. And I'm, I think I've always had a unique sense of style, and I think mm-hmm. I've carried that through the years. Mm-hmm. But I think I've grown through to yeah. myself, and really I've found myself, and really have become like. Um, not as shy, yeah. definitely. But two, but two, becoming more comfortable in your own skin. Yes, ma'am. Being, being okay with being you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you ma'am. Know, and I love that because it, it's like you don't have to fit into this cookie cutter mold, you know. And I, I think it took me time to kind of discover who I am and to be able to be okay with me, whether you're not, whether you aren't okay or not. Yes, ma'am. You know, just being okay and being centered with me. And so for you, all right. So. You've developed some friends. Yes, ma'am, the best, the best <laughs> friends. Who's your crew? Who's your crew out here? Um, <laughs> I have Evie Milton, uh-huh. Pierre Elliott, and Jonathan Haig. He yeah. graduated last year. They're just the best type of people. They yeah. really, I've known them, I've known Abby since seventh grade, wow. and to be going through everything together, mm-hmm. and drama club, we even do drama club together. It's just been amazing experience together, and watching each other grow up. I love that, and Marley, you know drama's my favorite club. It really yes, is. ma'am. And so, I love it. How, so what roles do you play normally? Or what, which roles are you more comfortable playing? I'm comfortable with anything, but they really like me. And, oh, I've been the nun last a year. A nun? Yes, ma'am. I've, I've done very <laughs> soft characters. But you have, a, you have a wide range where you could actually do a lot. I, I hope so. I think so. Yeah. And so, and you know, I think that being on stage and being able to perform, you're able to step outside of that shell or whatever yes, comfort ma'am. zone you're in to just be whatever it is you want to be. Yes, ma'am. I think that's helped me a lot. For sure. And what's next? I've been accepted and I'm going to Agnes Scott. They've given me a scholarship and everything. <laughs> and I'm just so excited. I'll be oh go- doing psychology, something that I really, really am passionate about. And I'm just so excited to go there and just figure out everything and meet new people. So, so very proud of you. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. All right, so you're about to turn the tassel and here it is, you're going off to Agnes Scott and you're gonna do great things, right? Yes, ma'am. Very good, it's been a pleasure meeting you. It's been a pleasure meeting you too. Ladies and gentlemen, uh,
we are done here at East Lawrence High School just having an opportunity to meet so many amazing seniors and hearing their stories and, and their journeys to where they have been and of course to where they are now. <laughs> and I mean, it's a pleasure for me, uh, for this district to be able to see how they represent us so well. We look forward to graduation night when they turn that tassel and move on to bigger and better things. So it's been a wonderful day here at East Lawrence and here at Lawrence County Schools where we are growing great students. Thank <laughs> you.